हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग पे अटेंशन स्टूडेंट्स ऑन अ ब्लैक बोर्ड नाउ वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन टू द ट्वेल्थ साइंस केमिस्ट्री क्लास वी आर लर्निंग द चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज द सेकंड चैप्टर सोल्यूशंस इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी लर्न द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग द सोल्यूबिलिटी ऑफ द सोल्यूट इन टू द सोल्यूशन एंड ऑल्सो वी लर्न द हेनरीज लॉ विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टंट लॉ दैट इज सोल्यूबिलिटी ऑफ द सोल्यूट इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू द प्रेशर ऑफ दैट गैस प्रेजेंट ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द सोल्यूशन नाउ मैथमेटिकली द हेनरीज लॉ इज गिवन एज एस is equal to kh into p and we know that this kh is the proportionality constant which is the henry's law constant it is also called as the henry's law constant now let us learn some problems on the henry's law constant now this is the problem number 2.1 what is this problem very simple numericals for the uh, three marks or for the one marks uh, will be asked into the examination now what is this problem 2.1 the solubility of nitrogen gas in water at 25 degree centigrade and one bar pressure is 6.85 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles per liter. Now this is the solubility is given in moles per liter when pressure is 1 bar. So they ask us to calculate first that is the Henry's law constant that is K H and secondly they also ask us to calculate solubility of the nitrogen gas dissolved in water. under atmospheric conditions when partial pressure of nitrogen in atmosphere is 0.75 bar now here the solubility of the nitrogen gas at one bar pressure is given and they ask us to calculate the henry's law constant as well as the solubility when the pressure of the Bar. So very simple numerical or problem. How the solution? So first calculate the Henry's law constant. Now uh, first that is the Henry's law constant K H. Now what is the? That is mathematical expression of Henry's law. S is equal to K H into P because this S is directly proportional to the P. So this K H is the proportionality constant or it is also called as the Henry's law constant. So as S is equal to K H into P, then what is this K H? K H is equal to S yes, divided by P. Now this P get divided uh, this solubility. So K H is equal to solubility divided by pressure. What is the value of solubility? Here zero point eighty five into ten raised to minus four moles per liter. So substitute here the value of solubility as. 6.85 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles per liter. And what is the pressure? Pressure is one bar. First, that pressure is given when the solubility is there of nitrogen gas. Pressure is one bar. So 6.85 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by one becomes 6.85 into 10 raised to minus 4. And units are moles per liter, and this bar is also get divided here. So per bar. And we know the unit of the That is uh, Henry's law constant. That is moles per liters per bar. So K is equal to 6.85 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles per liter per bar. Now this is the value of K. Now they ask us to calculate the solubility when the pressure is 0.75 bar. Now we know the value of K. So we uh, substitute the value of K and the pressure is 0.75 in this equation, and we can calculate the solubility. So solubility yes when pressure is 0.75 bar K 
calculated x now see on the blackboard how the solubility is calculated here now see students solubility yes can be calculated now s yes, is equal to k h into p now the value of k h is we calculated that 6.85 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles per liter per bar and the value of pressure is 0.75 bar now this per bar and bar get cancel now what is remaining the solubility s yes, is equal to now 0.75 into 6.85 that becomes uh, that is uh, into 10 raised to minus 4 is also there that 10 raised to minus 4 that uh, remaining to write down there now that is uh, the value of the solubility is 5.138 into 
there is there the unit of the solubility on multiplication of the 0.29 into 0.173 the multiplication is 0.271 moles per liter now moles per liter means molarity so if they ask us solubility into the molarity moles per liter means molarity and therefore s yes, is equal to 0.71 molar now this is the uh, numerical of the on the henry's law constant or henry's law now let us learn the next topic and that is a uh, vapor pressure of solution of liquid in liquid that is the raoult's law we have to learn now raoult's law now this is about the numerical students on the henry's law and henry's law constant you can take the screenshot and write down the notes now this is the first 2.1 numerical and this is the second 2.2 numerical their rough work is also given how to convert the 130 mm of hg into the atmosphere and in this way this this is the second numerical now let us learn the raoult's law now one thing is there students this is not 170 mm of hg but this is 760 mm of hg in 11 standard we know that 760 mm of hg means one atmosphere so here also divide 130 mm of hg by 700 60 mm of hg uh, i wrongly write there 170 uh, but this is 760 mm of hg is equal to one atmosphere there so remember here uh, this is uh, 760 mm of hg means one atmosphere so 130 mm of hg is equal to 130 divided by 760 and that becomes 0.171 atm This is the 700. Uh, well, that is divided by 760 mm of Hg. Now that is the correction there. Not 130, but oh, sorry, not 170, but it is the 760 mm of Hg. Now let us learn the Raoult's law. 